All right, my friends, Pumpkin Story, Chapter 4, Brace for the Best. The barn was more crowded than usual. The dodo had come to twist a fate to film Pumpkin's journey. It officially started today. Two camera people were, in, were inside the pen. One camera was focused on Pumpkin and Thea. The other was on Ashley. They didn't want to miss anything. The first step in helping Pumpkin was to get her fitted for braces. That meant a trip to see Derek. Ashley would take Pumpkin, but it would be much easier if Thea stayed behind. But she and Pumpkin had never been separated before. Ashley thought of Deacon. Anytime she was away from her son, she missed him. But as a mom, she knew she'd be willing to let Deacon travel alone if it was for an important purpose, like healing an injury. She hoped Thea would feel the same way about her daughter. Ashley opened the back door of her SUV. Hay was spread along the floor already to make a comfortable bed for Pumpkin. She grabbed a bag of grain <clears throat> and then headed toward the barn. She was going to try to make this as smooth as possible for everyone. When Ashley stepped inside Pumpkin's and Thea's pen, she immediately filled a bowl with grain, which is every horse's favorite thing to eat. She pushed it toward Thea. Thea dove right into the bowl, munching happily. Grain is like candy to horses. Ashley saw her chance. If she grabbed Pumpkin now, Thea wouldn't be as upset. Don't be scared. It'll be okay. Ashley told Pumpkin as she picked her up. Thea looked up and met Ashley's gaze. Ashley tried to read the look Thea was giving her. It seemed as if she knew Ashley wouldn't do anything bad to Pumpkin. She trusted her. Good. With one, with one arm scooped under the pony's neck and another arm scooped under her bottom, Ashley quickly carried Pumpkin to her SUV. The camera people walked backward in front of her as they filmed. Pumpkin was getting heavier. It wasn't as easy to carry her as it had been in the beginning. She was wider now, too. Ashley placed Pumpkin in the back of the SUV. Pumpkin was still so small that she could stand up in the back without touching the roof of the car. Ashley started to drive toward the veterinarian's office, which was only about 20 minutes away. A cameraman sat in her front seat, and the rest of the crew from the dodo followed in a car behind her. Derek would be there when they arrived. This was a really important appointment for Pumpkin, and Matt's team was excited to be there to capture it on video. Derek would make a cast of each of Pumpkin's legs. Then he'd use the cast to mold them to, into four braces. Ashley looked at her rearview mirror and saw Pumpkin chewing on some hay. Her ears moved up and down and her eyes shifted back and forth. Ashley was proud of Pumpkin already. There was a lot going on and the pony was being so brave. Pumpkin had a lot to take in. She was in the back of a car and someone was pointing a camera at her. Now they were on the road, pulling away from her new home. The nice lady told her everything was going to be okay, but she was getting worried. She had no idea what was going on, but she could tell that something important was about to happen. There was a lot of yummy hay to distract her, but her mom was nowhere in sight. She had never been anywhere without her mom. Where were they going? The nice lady was driving the car. She turned around and talked to Pumpkin a few times to make sure she wasn't scared. Then they turned into a parking lot. Hey, this looks familiar. She had been here before. Last time, she didn't stay a, a long while. The people were nice to her, but she had started to feel that the sanctuary was her new home. That's where her mom was. She hoped she didn't have to stay here long without her mom. <clears throat> Excuse me. The lady came to the back, opened the door, and picked up Pumpkin again. It was nice of the lady to carry her around. Pumpkin liked it, but she was also nervous. What was going on? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Ashley set Pumpkin down in the veterinarian's office as the film crew gathered around them. As the veterinarian patted the tiny horse's head, Derek walked in. This is the famous pumpkin, he asked. He shook Ashley's hand. She couldn't believe this was finally happening. But what if Derek wasn't able to help Pumpkin? This was the first time he was seeing Pumpkin's issue in person. He had helped so many animals in the past, but what if this was the one case he had to turn down? Ashley tried not to think about it. Instead, she helped lay Pumpkin carefully on her side on the metal exam table. Right off the bat, I'm just going to stabilize all the joints that need them, Derek said as he touched one of the foal's legs. She may need braces on all four legs, the veterinarian said to Derek. Ashley winced. Would braces on all Pumpkin's legs be too hard for Derek to make? Do you think that the braces are going to help Pumpkin become more mobile, she asked. All four legs on any animal is very tough, Derek said. It's going to be really about her, her spirit, and her will to want to move. Ashley nodded while looking down at the sweet foal. She was behaving so well. She was such a good girl. Derek examined one of Pumpkin's hooves. A lot of this is unknown, he said. So we'll take this one day at a time and one step at a time. Pumpkin deserved to live a life without pain, a life where she could enjoy the outdoors and run around with Deacon. That's why Ashley started the sanctuary in the first place. She truly believed these animals deserved better. She would help the animals that no one else wanted. She wanted to show them love and give them a place to live out the rest of their lives happy and healthy. Even if they were old or injured or difficult, Ashley knew that these animals' lives mattered just as much as those of any other animal or human. They didn't ask for the situation they were in, and they couldn't, they couldn't ask for help. But Ashley knew that she could give help to them. She could change their situation for the better. And that's why she always fought for the, her animal friends. Ashley knew that Pumpkin wanted to walk. Actually, Pumpkin wanted to run. It was very obvious that she wanted to gallop alongside her mother, graze in the fields, and play with Deacon. Pumpkin had been at Twist of Fate only a short time, but Ashley had been so impressed by her spirit. As long as I see Pumpkin has a will to live, I want to keep fighting for her, Ashley said. Derek nodded. Let's start casting, buddy. He opened his bag of supplies. Pumpkin, Pumpkin was laying down on a table. It was padded, but so it wasn't uncomfortable but people were holding her in place and touching her legs. That wasn't great. She started to get impatient. She was a long way from her mom and she'd rather be laying down on her comfortable let bed of hay back in the barn. Then a man slipped a long sock onto one of her legs to cover her fur. What a strange feeling. She had never worn a sock before. He wrapped a bandage around and around her leg. It covered the sock completely. The bandage eventually turned hard and solid. The man cut it carefully down the middle and took it off her leg. He called it a cast. He had, it was the shape of her leg. Was she done now? No, wait. Now he was doing the same thing on her next leg. And then the two other legs. Was she done now? The nice lady picked her up. Everyone was saying thank you and goodbye and we'll see Pumpkin again soon. The nice lady told her that she would see her mom soon. Phew, that meant they didn't have to stay here for a long time alone. The lady placed her in the back of the trunk of her car. She rested on the bed of hay as the car pulled out of the parking lot. She couldn't wait to get back to her pen and cuddle next to her mom. What a day. There's your mommy, Ashley said to Pumpkin as she slid open the wooden door to the pen. She could see her own breath in the chill winter air. Thea was waiting there, ready to greet her baby. 
She made a soft whinny, calling to Pumpkin the moment they stepped foot into the barn. She grunted and touched Pumpkin's nose, touched her nose with Pumpkin's. Thea had never liked to let Pumpkin out of her sight, so even this short vet appointment must have been torture for her. Told you she'd be back, Ashley said to Thea. Thea was Pumpkin's mom, but Ashley felt like Pumpkin's mom too. Hopefully together they would be able to help the foal live a long, happy life. That's what every mother wants for her kids, whether they're human or animal. Ashley locked eyes with the mother horse, then shut the door to the pen. The reality was that Thea made Ashley's life much easier. No one could provide comfort as a mother could. Pumpkin loved her mom as much as Thea loved her, loved her daughter. Ashley knew Thea would be able to soothe any nerves Pumpkin had from her visit to the vet. She walked away to let the mother and baby have some time alone together. All right, that was chapter four. Chapter five, we're going to see if those braces are going to start to work. All right, my friends. Bye.